What is up everybody? Matt with Mikey Designs here. We're in the dark room and you may have guessed it. We're going to talk about emulsion. We'll talk about the different types and the pros and cons of each. Be sure to check our description for links to some of these products and also to show notes just in case we miss something. Stick around as we dive into it. Welcome back everybody. We're going to give a quick rundown of a couple different types of emulsion. There is a third one that we're not including in this video, but that third one is basically a hybrid of these two emulsions we have in the shop here. Now these are emulsions that you do apply with a scoop coater. There is capillary film, which is basically a sheet of emulsion that you you wet your screen down and you apply the sheet, but we're not going to get into that. This is the most cost effective way to coat your screens. And I'll explain the benefits of each one of these emulsions. First up the bat is SBQ Photopolymer Emulsion. Also just known as Photopolymer Emulsion. Say that three times fast. Great thing about Photopolymer Emulsion is it's fast exposing. It doesn't need an activator. It has a long shelf life and they're great for high production. Some of the downsides to photopolymer emulsion is you're going to have a hard time with half tones. You'll have to bump up your DPI or your LPI in order to hold those fine half tones. Chances are you're going to lose those one to around 8% dots and your 92 and above dots. You're going to have a hard time washing those out. All in all, I think this is a great emulsion to have. If you just want to have one in the shop, it's not a bad way to go. And it's kid tested and mother approved. Actually, no, that's, that's really not true. Here's a screen we already put into production using a photopolymer emulsion. And one of the things I forgot to mention a little earlier is that photopolymer emulsion does tend to have a higher solids content Meaning that with these lower mesh count screens, you're going to have an easier time just even doing a one-in-one -one coat, coating your screens and it having a nice build to it. You can actually see that I can catch my finger on the stencil because it has a nice buildup. So it will allow for a nice and positive ink. Next up, drum roll, Diazo Dual Cure Emulsion. One of the great things about it is it tends to be a little less expensive and you can hold some great detail, especially when it comes to halftone work. And it also allows you a little more room for error. If you underexpose a dual cure emulsion, chances are you'll still have a great screen. Some of the downsides are it will take you longer to expose screens. It'll take you about three times as long to expose a screen, but it all pays off in the fact that you get greater detail. This emulsion does require an activator. It comes with a little bottle that you fill up water that has a powder activator in it and you have to thoroughly mix everything together. Not so much the case with photopolymer. Another downside is you generally have about a month to three months. As you can see we've mixed ours back in December. It's still working great but it's probably on its last leg. This one will keep you in the shop longer that's for sure. Although you'll create some really cool halftone prints. Here are a couple examples of screens that I did using the Dual Cure Diazo Emulsion. And you can see, hopefully, hopefully I can get this to catch some of the detail. But you can see how it really held some of those halftone dots quite nicely. And these are some screens I prepared for promotional, just kind of giveaways. And it's got a nice gradient in the background. This will be a four color process print. But hopefully you can really see the detail that is in there. How nice the halftones are. 
This example over here is just a single spot color. Let me see if I can get this thing to zoom in or focus. There we go. And one of the things about these dual cure emulsions is it leaves a thinner layer of emulsion. In this example, I can't even catch my finger on the graphics. So it leaves a pretty thin coat of emulsion, which makes it a little bit better for detail. Thanks for tuning in guys. That's about it. This subject can get very technical, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. Please remember to subscribe, share, like, thumbs up, hit the bell notification, so that way you get updates as to when we upload our next video. We'll see you next time. Blah!